What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, K. Rich, and I'm coming at you from a PK perspective. This is going to be a quick video. This is going to be um, right to the point. I just want to tell y'all, be encouraged. Be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. Because the enemy wants to cause division. He wants us to, to get so frustrated with situations. He wants us to be so hurt. He wants us to be so assuming. He wants us to be so bogged down with things of life. He wants us to be so disconnected with one another that we, we just let it all go. That we either give up completely or we, 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 we give in to, to, to certain parts of, of letting go of this thing. He don't want you to fast because, you know, you find comfort in food. He doesn't want you to, 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 to be in agreement with people because he knows the power of agreement. So he wants to break up friendships. He wants to frustrate your situations. He wants you to have issues with people in church. He wants you to just be caught up by the bait of Satan, which is a very great book that I would say every person uh, in church should read. It's one of those books that's going to break down how the enemy tries to utilize offense against the body of Christ and it's just bait to take you out slowly but surely man I want y'all to go be encouraged I want you to go love on somebody I want you to go tell a stranger I love you go tell them Jesus loves you I want you to fight I want us to keep fighting you know before I I, I, I you know I'm, I'm still a work in progress <laughs> but in my in my years of immaturity I was quick to fight I was quick to defend myself. I was quick to to want to fight in my flesh. And I was quick to, to, to be, you know, to push people off. But God is showing me how to fight in the spirit realm. And how important it is to be, to have a fasted life, to have a prayer life, to have people around you that are sharpening you, that are praying for you, to have, have people that you can call on just to pray, just to be in agreement with you. You know, um, be encouraged. We and I know it's so cliche, right? We win in the end. Like, no, we already won. Just make it to the finish line. The, the battle's already been, been, been fought and you have the victory. Just make it to the finish line. Make it to the finish line. I watch, you know, some uh, track and field events and I see people maybe pull a hamstring or they might, you know, uh, hurt their quad and they don't just walk off. They don't, <laughs> they don't get hurt and, and, and just walk off. They, they make it. They, they walk all the way to the finish line. They limp all the way to the finish line. And it's not always about being the fastest, being the strong. Even the Bible says the race isn't given to the strong or to the swift, but those that endure. Endure trials and hardships as a good soldier. Endure. Man, I'm decreeing and I'm put, pressing upon you. Endure. Make it. You have joy. You have the victory. Make it. Be encouraged that I love you. Somebody out there love you. I love you. And if, if you don't believe I love you, Jesus loves you. God loves you. You have a purpose. You have a plan. You are somebody. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are chosen. Be encouraged. And use the, this moment of encouragement to go be great. I love y'all. God bless you. Be encouraged. God is with you. And and. and if he's with you, who can be against you? I like what Michael Todd, uh, he preached a message and he was like, if God be for me, who? And that's why I want you to look at the who. Look at these people. Look at these battles. Who? Who going to be against me? If God be for me, who? You know what I'm saying? Be encouraged. You are everything God says you are. Everything he says you are. And nothing that the haters say you are. All right. I love y'all. Be blessed, be blessed, be encouraged, be encouraged. Go be great. Peace.